Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, in the previous video, in this particular video, I've already talked about what is MongoDB, how exactly it is different from Oracle, and uh, what do you mean by collections, documents, and everything. So today we will install MongoDB on Windows laptop, and then we will see how can we create the collection documents, and how can we uh, hit the query, and how to write the query in the form of MongoDB commands, and uh, how to fetch the data from MongoDB database. So let's talk about it. So what do we have to do first? We have to install and we have to download first and we have to install MongoDB. So let's quickly write download MongoDB. And you have to go to its uh, MongoDB community version that you have to download. So click on MongoDB community download, this particular link. And when you go to this particular link, you just uh, need to scroll down. And uh, let me just uh, show you this particular page over here. You can see. So there are two types of uh, files are available. You can select the respective version and on which platform that you want to uh, download. So let's say I'm going to use Windows and it's available in the form of zip file and MSI. So we will be using Microsoft MSI service and click on download link. So when you click on it, it will be downloaded and uh, the download will start and it's around 200 ones. It's very lightweight, 216 MB. So this file is already available with me, so I'm not going to download again. So I'm just going to cancel the download because it will take some time and I have already downloaded. So I'll go to my downloads folder. In this particular downloads folder, you can see that this is the executable file. This is the MSI, MSI uh, window installer file is there. So we just need to double click on it and install MongoDB. This is just like a typical installation. Click on next and click on, uh, let's see, it's already available. So it's simple click on change and uh, click on next click on next what do you have to do uh, first time when you download it will ask you you download the complete or custom so we have to use complete and simple click on change and click on uh, next over here right now you can ignore this install mongodb compass click on next and click on change so quickly it will be downloaded and then it will say that okay yeah click on finish simple so mongodb got downloaded and MongoDB is installed, sorry, okay, on my Windows machine. So what we have to do, we have to go to C drive. It will be available in your C program files. And it will create one folder over here, MongoDB folder. Go to server, 4.4, and in the bin directory, you have to go. Here, you see two important files. One is MongoD. D means server. MongoD is the server, and Mongo is the client. So we have to start the server and the client both. But before that, we have to give the environment variable so copy this particular path and we have to go to the uh, windows system environment variable we have to give the path of the bin directory so that from the command line you can start the server from any directory so what we have to do we have to right click on this pc go to properties go to advanced system settings go to advanced click on environment variables and here you simply scroll down and in the path variable you have to add the path so I just I'm going to add this path, click on new and paste the path up to the bin directory. Click on OK, click on OK, click on OK. Perfect. And let me just close this also. When it is done, what you have to do, you have to open your command prompt and you don't need to go to this particular directory. But before that, what you do, you go to your C drive and in the inside the C drive, just create one folder like this data and DB. Okay, guys, so data and DB by default, all the database will be created over here. So right now I have already used MongoDB, but what you just need to do, go to C drive, inside your C drive, create a data folder tree over here, data and DB. Remember this thing, because by default, whatever the database or collections or documents that you are creating, it will be stored over here. You can change the directory also later on, but right now just uh, MongoDB will check that okay, in your C drive, data DB is available or not, fine. So make sure you have to create it. It will not be created. You have to create it. Once it is done, you go to command prompt. So let me open my command prompt. And uh, this is my command prompt. The black okay window or right now I have changed the color. What you just need to do, as I told you that MongoD is the server name. Okay, server executable file. You go to C drive, program files once again, and go to this particular MongoDB server 4.4 bin directory. And this file we have to execute. And this bin path we have already given in our environment variable path. So you can directly execute from here. So you simply write MongoD. <clears throat> when you write MongoD, it will start the server. 
make sure you are not disconnecting the server okay so you can see that okay server got started and by default server is running on a specific port i'll tell you the port number also in some time now after that without disturbing this particular server just minimize this particular server so let me just minimize it and then we have to open another command prompt to start the client and this client will connect to this particular server automatically so let me open a new command prompt and then the client name is what the client name is mongo this is the file so this particular file simply write mongo over here so when you see that uh, you can see that it got connected and mongod server is actually running on my local host 27017 so this is the default port of mongodb 27017 you can see that and you can see that session id got created this is my session id mongodb server version is this and got connected and now you are in the mongodb console after that what you have to do you have to check that okay i'm connected or not so what you simple do simple write one command over here show dbs so you can see that okay there are three databases available over here the uh, admin config and local these are the default databases are already there so you can check over here show dbs you can check it simple like that right now uh, what else you can do is now i have to create my own database first right inside that particular database we have to create the collection and then we have to create a document so uh, these are the system defined dbs are already available admin config global so i'm going to create my own database so how to do that so for doing this you simply write use let's say i want to create one database let's see product database or let's see users database i'm going to create use or uh, let's see product let's see or you can create navin database whatever the name you want to give that doesn't matter use navin so it's saying switch to db navin now if you write show dbs once again it's not showing you navin why because we haven't created any collection and the document over there right so what we have to do we have to use let's see if you write only db it's saying that okay yeah by def now right now you're pointing to db okay this particular db means navin database you are pointing it means you are inside this particular database what we have to do now we have to create now multiple collections so how to do that so in this case so now we are in this particular database now i really want to see that how many collections are there in my database because as we know that it does not maintain the record on the basis of rows and rows and columns so it maintains the record on the basis of collections so the command is simple write show collections so right now we have zero collections because we haven't created any collection you can use db also db is the object name and simple write get collection names so right now we don't have any collections so we are getting a blank space over here let me clear the screen by using cls okay now we have to create a collection in mongodb and the db name is navin that we have created you can see that db is navin so what we have to do we have to use a db dot and one method is there create collection method you have to use and you have to give the collection name so let's say i want to store a uh, user information so what i'm going to do i simply write users over here this is my collection name right guys so this is my collection name i'll be using and uh, semicolon so you can see that okay okay and one so it means my collection got created over here right now what i really want to do in this particular collection in this particular collection what i'm going to do that uh, i want to create multiple documents as i told you that separate document for user one separate document for user two and i don't need to define any schema over here so how to do this so let's see i'm going to create a db now let's check first that okay how many collections that you have so you remember that this particular method show collections now it is showing users and if you see that uh, db dot collection names it's showing users because we have created one single collection but do we have any document no we don't have any document right now so we have to create documents so how to create that simple write db dot collection name my collection name is users that i have already created over here users dot and we have to use one insert method and put a bracket over here in this particular bracket we have to pass the json key value pair format so let's say i'm simple passing that a user id something like this and id is equal to one comma and the name of the user is let's see tom okay name of the user is tom or let's see name of the user is naveen simple 
perfect and then you put semicolon and enter so you can see that okay right result it's saying yeah and inserted one it means data got inserted over here now i want to so by using this insert command what will happen we are creating one document so in this particular collection in the user collection create one document so this is the document that got created with this particular data now i want to create one more document so i'll be using let's see a different id this time id is equal to do name is equal to tom like that comma and then i want to use let's see some other value also let's say i want to use age colon and age i'm writing let's say 25 so here i have added one more attribute age but here for naveen data i'm just adding id and name over here okay then let's see so you can see that okay yes it's absolutely working fine now this is the way we can simple uh you know add different data over here different documents over here now what i want i want to find that in my collections simple write dot find method now you can see that okay two records are there one is this name equal to this nabi and name equal to tom age like that you can see that but i want to print in a pretty format okay in a typical json format so let me clear the screen and let's run it again so you just need to write db users dot find and dot pretty method you have to use pretty now you can see that okay this is my first document number one as i told you that uh, this is my collection name this is my first document and this is my second document and by default it will create one object id every document will have its own unique object id over here you can see that object id something like this 627 this is 628 and id is equal to one name and these are the attributes that we are using it so underscore id is the system defined id that is provided by mongodb and this id is used by me used by user okay like that now i really want to check the records let's see in a different queries how to write so here we don't need to write any sql query we have to write mongodb methods so simple write db users dot find and let's see i want to put find method dot limit let's say you have thousand records are there and you just want to use only 10 records or five records right now we have only one record so i simply pass limit one it means give me the first record only and if you really want to write pretty format so we're getting only first record navi so like this also you can do that you can limit the data also okay now let's see um I really want to check what is a count. So simple write db dot users dot count. How many records are there? So there are two documents are available in this particular collection. Okay, because users is a collection name, right? Now I simple write db dot once again users dot find dot pretty format. Okay, then I'll be using db dot and then I'll be using users dot find and put a bracket and I simply say that okay where like this okay ID whatever the underscore ID I'm using underscore ID and uh, whatever the ID that we are using it so let's see I'm using this particular ID good so let's see give me the record where object ID is equal to this so now you can see that I'm getting name is equal to Naveen over here perfect so like this also on the basis of some attribute also you can simply do that now there are some administration uh, administrative commands also available in mongodb that i really want to see that what is the stats what is the uh, total size data size how many bytes it is storing inside the memory and all those things so let's see those basic commands as well so let's say i simply write that uh, first of all db dot users dot give me the stats the stat is a method so you have to write it like this and then you run it so you can see that okay all the operations so far that you have performed in this particular collection everything will be displayed over here so if you really want to get some information that you can simply do that okay like that right there are certain other commands let me just uh, clear the screen other commands like you can simply write db dot users dot total data size so total data size is 107 data size means the size of the collection okay size of the collection only not the document 
now if there is one more command db dot users dot storage size the storage size is 36864 bytes it is taking total size of a document stored in this particular collection so this is the size that has been taken by this and if you really want to take the combined collection users it means total number of bytes for both collection data and the indexes whatever the documents that you have stored simple write users dot total cells if you really want to check you can do that so like this okay so these are the some basic important commands guys that you can simple uh, check it and uh, you can simple places now i really want to drop this particular collection whatever the users collection i want to delete that how to delete we have one drop method is available so simple write uh, db dot users dot drop so i don't want to drop right now i'll show you this particular method in some time but immediately it will be dropped so then again you have to create the collection like that right and then then you have to insert the data and then you have to <clears throat> so let's drop it okay so let's see db users dot drop it's returning true and then i want to see that okay total number of collections are there or not so that how will you check it that i've already told you you really want to check that okay simple give me all the collections so simple write show collection okay you're saying zero otherwise if you really want to use with the help of db simple write db dot get collection names we are getting again blank like that okay so these are the basic commands guys, that you can hit the query you can insert the data in the form of documents in a particular collection and you can create n number of collections inside that collection you can create n number of uh, documents over there and if you really want to read the documentation you can simply go to mongodb and mongodb documentation is available you can simply check that uh, mongodb command you can go to their official website and there are complete references available uh, you can check over their reference documentation and you can practice accordingly there are multiple commands no need to remember each and everything there are so many commands are available you can check it over there for the query for aggregation method lot of lot of things are there you can simply do that whatever i have told you those are the basic important basic commands i have showed you so you can practice and make sure that okay mongodb is running on your windows laptop same thing you can do it for the mac machine maybe i can prepare a separate video for mac users but the commands and everything will remain same in mac also perfect guys thank you so much thanks for watching this particular video if you like this particular video please subscribe to the channel like and share and comment if you have any queries and share with others thank you so much guys